Welcome back. We're going to be getting Mark's ending in this part, but we do need to do a few little things before we get there. He's talking to the barrel. Oh, you're here again. I've been anticipating this conversation, Missy. Recruit. Yes. Melvia. Right. So, let's head over to the Promised Land, where we need to kill a boss. Look at how far I've come. I know I'm usually calm, but even I can't hold back this excitement. I've heard rumors, but this will be my first time seeing it in person. Mark, isn't it about time you told me what we're supposed to be looking for? Oh, did you forget? Or are you playing dumb? It's not that I forgot, really. You never told me anything. I didn't. I thought I did. One thousand pardons. You don't have to apologize. Just tell me what's going on. Ha <laughs> ha! You want to know? You really want to know? Nah, I, I changed my mind. Well, I don't mind telling you, but... He's playing hard to get all of a sudden. Can I go home now? I suggest you stay right here. Otherwise, you miss the century's greatest historical moment. Because I am here to search for an ancient giant robot. Giant robot? Yes, a living one on top of that. Wait, perhaps it's inappropriate to call a robot living. With an unknown energy source, however, it is probably acceptable to categorize it as such for now. Who cares? Don't you think a giant walking robot is dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. According to eyewitnesses, those who meet the robot come back severely injured. It must be programmed to guard the ruins. Severely injured? I won't do this. I'm going home. Think of it as part of your job. Our top priority is capturing it fully functional. If not, cripple and capture. If we can't even do that, we've no choice but to destroy it and try to extract data from it. I can't. There's no way I can. There, there. It'll work out. Maybe. Even if something does happen, you'd be an honorable sacrifice in the name of scientific advancement. No! I won't be a sacrifice for anything! I'm scared. I want to go home. You're still muttering about that? I don't see why you're afraid when the opponent's strength is unknown. I'm just scared, okay? Why aren't you worried at all? Of course I am! Look at these knees! They won't stop knocking together! You're not much better off than me. On the contrary, I would argue. Humans are all cowardly organisms. Why wouldn't we be scared? You're saying something completely different from what you said earlier. Let's set that aside. I'm a scientist, you know. Solving the unknown to make it more palatable is one of my life's missions. You mean making the unknown not scary? Aren't adventurers the same? You travel to unknown lands so others may go there with peace of mind. I get it. So even if I'm scared, I shouldn't be scared of it. That's the spirit. Let's do it. You're probably not fit to be a scientist, though, seeing how easily you're convinced by what I say. May I excuse me, what? Huh? What did you say? No, nothing. Anyway, it's time to cut the chit-chat. Look over there. Huh? Thus the term giant robot. You wouldn't call something small a giant, would you? I know, but it's bigger than I thought. I can't believe something like that can move around. A picture is worth a thousand words, so they say. Uh-oh, I do believe it heard you. <gasps> what should we do? Do we really have to fight it? Of course. 
That's why we're here. Oh, destroying it is a last resort. Prioritize its capture above all else. I can't do so many things at once! I mean, I'm gonna blow it up, aren't I? Let's see here. I'm, I'm thinking, um... Skill, duplicate, dimension egg. I will release the you know how these things the go. Item. And then very much, um, bomb. Take that! Have a double down. My turn! This is gonna hurt! Ha! I hope so. Really have to. <gasps> Not this is bad. Unexpected. Hypnosis mode on. Take a good look. Okay, we we can it. Let's give another bomb. Take that. Let's give another bomb. Take that. My turn. Yeah, it was alright. Attack mode on! One, two, finish! Duplicate one of those eggs. I will release the power of the item! Go the bomb! Take that! Here's a bonus! Not great bonus, really, but alright. This is gonna hurt! You definitely hurt. feel the difference of not having Sturk around, can't you? Not bad. It, it would be nice if he was Attack here. Mode on. One, two, finish. Let's just throw that out. Okay. Should be enough at this point, surely. My turn. What with the assist, etc. Well, this is about right. Let's get everything. But we won! The subject was more fragile than I had accounted for. No matter. I can now study it to my heart's content. <sighs> it appears only the outer shell was damaged in our skirmish. The internals are still intact. This is amazing. I don't understand what it is just by looking. What's this object? He's gone into his own kooky world. I worked hard, so I was hoping he'd at least say thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Oh, you heard me? Of course. This went wonderfully. Well done. You are the world's foremost adventurer. <laughs> thanks. Wait, you're just saying that, aren't you? No, it's from the bottom of my heart. Now then, I have another favor I want to ask of you, ma'am. Why are you talking all funny now? What sort of favor is it? I want you to help me bring this back to my laboratory. What? This? You mean this giant thing? Yes, this. Y you're joking, right? There's no way I can lift something this big. You'll have to do it, even if it seems impossible. Otherwise, defeating it was a wasted effort. Then why didn't you think of a way to transport it before we fought it? Now that's just crazy talk. I never thought we'd beat it to begin with. I mean, just make another giant robot that can pick it up. Done. You figured we'd lose and you still brought me here? You're terrible! There, there. If you complain so much, you'll waste strength meant for lifting. Come and help me. On three. Okay. One, two, and three! I can't move this at all! Bling.
<sighs> We're finally here. <sighs> the only thing we managed to bring back was the core internal unit. We could barely carry just that one unit back here. It pains me to think the rest had to go to waste, but I'll deal with that later. It's always more fun to invent something with just a hint instead of repairing someone else's work. Sorry for making you do all this. You were a huge help. Thank you. Huh? Oh, sure. What's with that blank look on your face? I didn't think you'd thank me like a normal person. That's plain rude. My mind is always filled with thanks for others. I'm a bit obtuse when it comes to these things, and I'm unable to express myself as clear as I'd like to. It all sounds fake because you say stuff like that. As a way to thank you, I'll be sure to show you my completed work before anyone else. Now it's time to start researching! He looks so happy. Almost like he got in touch with his inner child. I'm tired, so I should go home. Wait. Is he gonna build a giant robot? Here in town? No way. Even he wouldn't do something that crazy, right? But... this is Mark we're talking about. Now I'm worried. And now we need to wait two days for Mark to return. Hmm? Who's there? Coming! Was it just my imagination? I thought I heard someone. No one. Maybe I just imagined it. Hmm. What's this piece of paper? It's got a message on it. Notice. I will present a grand show to the world today at noon. Go to the Bridges Center at the town's entrance. From the proud genius scientist, Professor M. Mark isn't even trying to hide his name. I wonder what he's up to. Professor M. What should I do? I don't want to go, but I think I should stop him. I can't believe I ended up coming here. Hello there and welcome. This show would not have been made possible without your help. Uh-huh. By the way, why did you call me out here using a note? I know how fickle you can be, Missy. Even if I invited you normally, you'd put up a mask of indifference, so I devised this little plan. And just as I thought, you came. Oh, so you're saying I played right into your hands? There, there. Let's change topics. There's actually something I want to show you today, Missy. Hey, how long do we have to wait? We want to see it! Meow. Meow indeed. Oops, the crowd grows restless. <clears throat> Thank you very much for waiting. Behold! The greatest invention of the exceedingly exceptional super genius scientist Professor McBride, activate! <gasps> An earthquake? Stop tossing your gaze around. Focus! Otherwise, you'll miss the greatest moment of this century! Uh, uh, I have such a bad feeling about this! Arise, my ultimate robot, McVellian! Oh, what? Ha ha ha! Surprised? A little bit. Uh, of course I am. You really made a giant robot. Why did you make it in town? You didn't know. Giant robots are supposed to be stored underwater. It's the most basic rule of all. Who made that rule? What are you mad about? Look, all the kids love it. That's awesome! It's huge! It's a robot! A giant robot! That looks so cool! I wanna ride it! They do look happy, but you'll get into a lot of trouble later. It makes me sad you worry about the future and forsake the wonders of now. What made you such a degenerate? What are you talking about? If you don't hide it quick... Hey! What's going on here? Whoa! What is that? Oh, Cordelia? 
You're the culprit. What have you done? Hurry up and do something about it. It's not me. Mark did it. He... Where did he go? He went somewhere else. He ran that way really super fast. Wh what? I'm not going to let this one slide, even if you are Rorona's student. Get over here. No, it's not me. I didn't do it. Oh, Mark! Why did I have to get yelled at? Y you helped him. Mark's gone, and the robot disappeared before I realized it. Took you long enough? From your face, I deduce you were chastised quite severely. Mark, you're terrible! How could you run away like that? Sorry, I had just remembered a personal crisis demanding my attention. When you get to my age, it's quite easy to create one or two sudden emergencies you must tend to. I guess... Wait, what did you just say? Don't sweat the small stuff. Since you bought me some time, the startup and storage experiments went smoothly. I give you my thanks. You're welcome, I guess. As you saw, it takes quite a lot to pull it out of storage. I can't use it without a lot of advanced preparation. But you can count on it when it matters most. Anyway, farewell. I lost my chance to get mad at him. I wonder if I'll get yelled at by Cordelia every time he uses it. Probably. Right, so let's jump to his ending now when he knocks on the door. It's that other camera angle. Hey, Weathercock. Excuse me. Mark, hello. You came all the way to my village? I heard you renewed your license. So I wanted to congratulate you and reserve you. Reserve me? I'm going on a long trip soon. You seem quite popular, so I wanted to mark my territory, so to speak. Me? Popular? Wait, where are you going? You remember how most of the machines in our land were dug up in ruins? I think I remember. Naturally, someone had to create them. But only finished products have been found in these ruins. No one has ever seen a production facility. My conjecture is they were manufactured elsewhere and shipped to these places. Uh-oh. You're starting to make things sound really complicated again. That's really not that complicated, but okay. I want to uncover the technology's origins. It will be a long journey, so I'm developing our ride now. So you're really serious? Of course. Did you think I was fooling around here, Missy? I'm sorry. I did. But not in a bad way. I just don't know if I should go with you on such an important trip. I may have an adventurer's license, but it'll be reassuring to have someone capable with me. I am only a scientist. Among all the adventurers I know, I trust you the most, Missy. Mark? All right. If you insist. Thank you. I knew you'd agree. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait. Setsi's making a big feast. If you'd like, why don't you join? No time. With that settled, I must hurry and complete building our ride. I will come for you when I'm done. He's gone. He's always so frantic. I wonder what the journey will be like. We're going to learn where those machines came from. Totori, dinner's ready. Come and eat it while it's hot. Okay. Totori promised Mark to go with him, and then relaxed at her village. A few months later, Mark came with his completed ride and collected Totori, as she promised. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's finally complete. Is this the ride you mentioned? It took a long time to figure out the fuel problems for longer journeys, but it's all good now. Get on. Get on? This? Oh, I'll have to warn you. It's an excruciatingly uncomfortable ride. Oh. I can tell just by looking. Wait, it's really going to move? <laughs> It's too high! It's so scary! Ha 
ha, ha, a grand sight, no? I upgraded the robot we made, Missy. I call it... I don't care about the name. Why do we have to ride like this? A good question worth humoring. Initially, I considered creating a cockpit system. But we don't have satisfactory image technology to get an acceptable field of view from the inside. I don't get it at all! I want off! If you don't hang on, you really may fall off. <gasps> I guess... if I fell from this height... Oh! I didn't expect this perk. Perk? Are you being a big pervert? I said to stay put. Yeah. So anyway, next ending. True ending. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>